Raheem Morris coming over to the Atlanta Falcons organization is the new head coach, but he was the defensive coordinator for the Rams the last three years. He's going to be bringing Jimmy Lake with him as the new defensive coordinator for the Atlanta Falcons next year. So let's take a look at how the Rams were able to use some defensive scheme in order to steal some possessions away from opposing offenses last year. We're going to take a look at a play with the Rams going up against the NFC South division rival New Orleans Saints last year. I noticed that Raheem Morris did not do a lot of all out blitz. When he wanted to bring pressure, he would bring five, whether that was just a straight extra man rush or if he was gonna do a zone blitz, meaning bringing a linebacker and dropping a defensive end out. That's what he ends up doing on this play. So they're gonna end up taking this linebacker is gonna blitz, but this defensive end is gonna drop back in coverage. So this is like a zone blitz. Now I think that they're playing one robber behind it, which means you're gonna get a free safety right here that's gonna be playing center field back in the middle. But Jordan Fuller right here, he's gonna end up making this pick, but he's gonna come into this area and he's just gonna play a robber or a lurk technique where he's just reading the quarterback's eyes finding a receiver and seeing if he can make a play on a football. And he does just that. So there's a little bit of pressure comes. Derek Carr's got to get this ball out. Again, Jordan Fuller sits right underneath that route, ends up getting the interception. How about some run after the catch as well? They steal a possession away from the offense. Now let's take a look at another play against the Eagles last year. This is not going to be a zone pressure. This is just going to be a straight blitz by bringing one extra linebacker. So they're going to bring one extra. So you got five linemen blocking five defensive players. You see Jalen Hurts kind of throws this ball off his back foot a little bit, and Akella Witherspoon's gonna be man-to-man -man at the top against A.J. Brown. He understands that with this ball being on a 20-yard line, the field is compressed. So at some point, he can turn his head back around and make a play on the football, and that's exactly what he does. Sees the ball, steals the possession, gets both feet down before going out of bounds. Again, this is just another look from the back side of it. You can see here the five-man pressure. They're, Jalen Hurts gets on his back foot. He sees one of the defensive tackles is getting on the edge of his guard, realizes he's got to get rid of the football. And again, the excellent adjustment by Akella Witherspoon to get the interception. So how does Jimmy Lake, Raheem Morris, bring their defense to this Atlanta Falcons organization? I can't help but think a guy like Caden Ellis being that linebacker that ends up coming in on the zone blitzes. And how about Jesse Bates, number three, playing center field back there, getting interceptions just like he did this past season. Let's see how that translates to the Atlanta Falcons in 2024.